Hey everybody, J.K. Calloway here, jumping back into our Patreon exclusive reactions for The Leftovers. Season 2, Episode 4, it's called Orange Sticker. Don't know what that's in reference to, hopefully it makes sense when we get into it, but man, they've kind of just set everything up for what's happening seemingly in Texas. Like, it, it, it's shifted to Texas, Miracle Texas, or Jordan Texas, I'm not sure which one, technically, but... Kevin and Nora and Jill are there with the baby, Christine's baby, uh, and there's some new neighbors. Chris, the pastor, is there. Uh, the, the neighbors seem dodgy as shit. I don't remember the guy's name. John, I think it is, and Regina King's his wife. So come on, Regina King, the shit. But there's something going on. Like uh, the last we left off with them was there was some kind of earthquake and the lake was drained somehow, like something opened up and the water went away. Meanwhile, Kevin had a sleepwalking incident like he does and ended up in the lake with a cinder block tied to his foot. Thankfully, it drained because he's not dead, but what the hell? So yeah, I'm not sure what they're gonna get into this one. I don't know if they're gonna do more backstory, find out what like Lori and Tommy are doing in New York. Well, it seems like they're trying to get people away from the GR unsuccessfully for the most part but or they're gonna go back to Texas or they're gonna bounce back and forth who knows there might be more backstory there's plenty of characters still left to talk about I think we'll find out orange sticker I don't know at this point I don't know what's going on I like it though don't get me wrong I'm just scared <laughs> Okay. Evie didn't come home last night. She was out with her friends and they're gone too. Gone? Not a good word to use with her. It's not that, Nora. Don't, don't. No, nope. don't think Kevin's gone like that. Like, I, I understand why she would, but. Yeah. <sighs> Did it happen again? Uh, I can't find my, uh, my boyfriend is in here. Are you there? Okay. <sighs> yeah. Looks like you have some explaining to do, sport. <laughs> yeah. No one knows for certain, so it's all the same to me. Think out the chest, let the mystery be. Did you walk up down there? Yeah. I came up that bank. That's when I saw the car. You should get down there. If someone else finds your phone, you can say you just locked it today. We are the 9,261. We are spared. We are the 9,261. We are spared. For that, we are grateful. You weren't there for Amen. that. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven. There's your cinder block. You didn't throw it into the crevice or ravine or whatever the fuck it is? Nothing down there. Sure. Sir, are we okay? Okay. Love you. I love you too, Ken. Oh, she's not okay. If he didn't have his sleepwalking episode, she wouldn't have had her freak out. So, pro I mean, not his fault, not her fault, but still, I get it. He's I know exactly where your phone is. I can tell you what happened to those girls, too. All you have to do is ask. You're alone. Fuck it. Talk to her. <laughs> you know, it's like, no one's going to see Smart, that you're... retrace your steps. You're a regular fucking hardy boy. Okay, so his subconscious was is aware of what happened last night. 
just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Why are you rickrolling him? <laughs> Got to make you understand. Go get in that car, Kevin! Hey! What are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna talk to somebody. Who? A liar. Said he could tell people their future. Said something bad was gonna happen to me. Now my daughter's gone. Why would he have your daughter? Well, I might have burned down his house. You come okay. with me. If he knows anything about your daughter or knows anything about these girls, then I'll fucking know. I'll take it from there. What's his name? Isaac. Isaac. Is Isaac here? Who? Oh! No! Did he, did he get a shot? He, he did get a shot. You're nothing more dangerous than a man who don't believe in nothing. I, I don't think that's true. Most hey. dangerous people in the world are people that believe in something. Gotta get you to a hospital, man. No. 22 through the door. Not that deep. I can see the bullet. I think I should just go. You're good here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. The very first night we were here, I thought I was dreaming, but she was back. Did you film it? I said we should go to the hospital, but Mary, she just wanted to talk. We talked for hours. And we cried. Until we fell asleep in each other's arms. God, if that's true. And when I woke up, she was like this again. Oh. That's not okay. If that's true. You know what I mean? Like, he might have been dreaming. What are those for? There's um, one on our house, too. Um, before park services took over, some people from the government came by to every house to make sure it was true. Yeah, no one was gone. And no one was gone. When people found out about what happened here, there was a lot of confusion. Okay. And then there were claims. Claims that were untrue. John was in at the time, but when he came home and saw what was going on, he wasn't having it. Things are going to change now. What do you mean? Your family blew up, Nora's family blew up, and now you're all just clinging on to each other. Because you need to cling on to something. Ouch. That's why she bought the house. She didn't really care whether you wanted to or not. If you loved them, you wouldn't lie. You shut the fuck up! I didn't tell them about you because you're not fucking here. I love my family. I love them. Then why did you try to kill yourself? You walked out of your house in the middle of the night and you found a rope and a cinder block and then you tied it to your ankle and you threw it into a goddamn lake. Okay. I don't want to kill myself. Well, you're certainly entitled to your opinion. I'm just glad we finally talked about it. They vanished. The girls drove right by in their car, listened to their music, not a worry in the world, and poof. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around. What's real, what's not? That's his subconscious. Could be just fucking with him. Okay, Greece, but but serious. <laughs> oh. Or 
bring this together, right? Right. Did they really vanish? Did he really try to kill himself? I mean, she did know right where his phone was, but... Okay. Patty and Kevin finally, well, Kevin talked back to the idea of Patty, I guess, the best way to put it. Patty did know where his phone was, directed him right to him, but then she said, you know, the girls, are, they're definitely, van they vanished, they're gone, just like before. Uh, is that true? Also, she said that Kevin tried to kill himself with that cinder block. It was Kevin. Who tied himself to it, which makes the most sense. I mean, that's some old school fucking mob shit. <laughs> you know, I don't know how often you're gonna find that in Texas. Can you trust the apparition, or you know, it's his subconscious? Can he trust himself? But obviously, the the kid next door, uh, the younger the younger twin next door, uh, thinks his twin sister vanished. And now he's scraping off that, you know, weird town thing they do where they're verified that no one disappeared in this town. Kind of, okay. I don't have a twin, so I don't know if that whole, like, subconscious connection thing is real, but, you know, maybe he feels it. Maybe he just feels like she's just gone. And that's why he broke down when, you know, he asked if, if Jill was alone. And he said, yeah, me too. And just... You know, maybe that's what he was referring to. So yeah, I, I have no clue where they're going now with this, with this season, with this whole Texas thing. What's going on with the town? What's with the earthquakes? Because there's they've had more than the one, I think. And uh, but if there was a disappearance, I mean, that kind of <laughs> all those people are going away. <laughs> they're not going to try to get in anymore. Because, oh, cool, there was a new one also. Like, that seemed like it was within the confines of a day. If there was another disappearance, they would have heard about it. There's no way they wouldn't have. Granted, they're all pretty busy doing their own thing. They were all doing a search. But someone had to have a you know, cell phone with Wi-Fi around and be like, Guys, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, if it happened again. That's another thing, if it happened to those three, according to Patty, or according to more so Kevin's subconscious, uh, just the three this time? I don't know about all that, I don't know. I don't know, man. There's a lot to get into. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment down on the Patreon comments and whatnot. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think uh, they're going toward. Obviously, you've probably already seen this if you're watching it, uh, but, yeah, let me know if there's anything really blaringly, stupidly obvious I'm missing about this town as to what's wrong with it or why there was no disappearances, why there's earthquakes, all that stuff. So just, yeah, let me know if there's something I'm just missing. But we'll jump back in next week with episode five. Uh, <laughs> it's intense, man. It's fun. It's really, really fun and interesting. And this is great. Wow. Mm, I'm gonna have to reread the Bible. See what I'm missing. Mm, no, there's nothing. No. I'm just kidding. That's gross. <laughs>